you remind me of the babe. That's all. That, that's all you're going to get from me for today's soap before I send you to the intro. But I am going to send you to the intro and talk a little bit more about reminding me of the babe and what that has to do with today's video in just a moment. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 313 of 365 days of soap. And today is Georgia May's turn at the Impression Mat Challenge, and she is picking one of her most favorite things in the world to do in soap form. And that thing that she's picking, which you know, because you can read descriptions and titles, is Labyrinth. And Georgia May loves Labyrinth. This is one of her biggest things in the world. She's obsessed. She makes all form and manner of Labyrinth-themed art all of the time. She loves it, yes. And so she's actually translating her love of Labyrinth into a soap. She's going to be making the impression mat itself in like a maze, like a Labyrinth way, yes. And then using it as a topper for a soap. Now, you can use impression mats in a number of ways. And I showed you the all around weird way yesterday. We've shown you top and bottom before. And she's just going to do one on the top with a really cool design inside to sort of mimic David Bowie's like eyeliner and smoky eye. So super here for that. I'm going to stop talking about it here so you can actually see the coolness. So let's go check that out. Turn back, Sarah. Turn back before it's too late. Uh, George May is making a labyrinth soap for her impression mat soap challenge challenge. And she will still be using the Burberry Brit that we used yesterday for mine from Lone Star. And I don't remember having any real issues with it at all. It didn't accelerate. It didn't rise. It was. It is not discoloring. I had an all white bar and it smelled great uh, when we cut it. So awesome things. Kaylin Clay is going into there. Awesome things. Now let's talk about Labyrinth. And uh, Georgia May made that silicone mat that's up there, you know, on the, the top of the shot there. She made that in clay and then poured the silicone over it to create like a, you know, like a maze, like a labyrinth. And she decided to top the soap with this and just a regular loaf because when you start making a whole a whole maze, a whole labyrinth in like a slab form, God, that's a lot of work. That becomes a lot. And so yeah, she carved it all out and did the thing with clay and then poured the silicone over the top, did the thing. And so she's going to be topping her soap with this, which is another way to do an impression mat. And honestly, not a way that I think we've ever shown you. I think we did show you that actually for Sauvignon Blanc when I made a double batch and there were uh, impression mats on top and bottom so that meant that all of the bars had one side with an impression but as far as in a loaf mold no we've never done that and this is another way to do it and um, yeah so the reason why she made the labyrinth maze and why she's making a labyrinth soap is because she freaking loves labyrinth and when we were trying to figure out impression mats, we both kind of went, okay, yeah, we'll just do whatever, right? But then when she saw what I was doing with the with my impression mat and making like a crazy cardigan or whatever, because I love Taylor Swift, she's like, oh yeah, no, I want to do something that I love. And so that's what she did because she's obsessed with the labyrinth, like across the board, 
uh, across the board. She's making these crazy like little, well, she's making the, the aloe worm, aloe, you know, like the don't go that way worm. And uh, she's been selling them on her Etsy for way too cheap, I might add. And they're adorable. And like she's, she's obsessed with labyrinth, actually. We, uh, we've had it in mind to do a labyrinth theme for a while on the, uh, on the channel. So I think we might be saving that theme for year two content. So, you know, I'm going to put it out now and some of the soapers going to beat me to it, but it's okay because they won't be able to do it the way Georgia May does it because Georgia May is freaking amazing. And, uh, we'll come up with some ridiculous ideas and me too. Like labyrinth is a really fun, it's a really, really cool movie. And you can do a lot of variations on that for sure. But you know, this is her starting point with her first labyrinth soap and we are ready to go on to her pour and see what she ultimately decides to do with all of it, you know, right right now. She, she's ready to go, so we should go there too. The Babe with the Power is the Soprentice, of course. But yeah, no, uh, so onto her pour and beautiful fluid batter for all of this and I'm looking forward to seeing you know what she's going to do with it uh, I mean so she's gonna be me starting off let's just what she's going to do with it is pour it out of the out of the mold and then continue on because she starts out like me a hot mess and finishes like her a rock star so now the uh the inspiration behind this, what she wanted the inside of the bar to look like, is like David Bowie's kind of smoky eyeshadow or whatever, because it's completely iconic and awesome and, you know, whatever. And that was what she was in the mood to do. So it looks like she's going to be doing just an in the pot um, swirl with two colors. She's got her black and her gray for the nice smoky eye. That's cool. And, you know, I guess the rest of it kind of. David Bowie's flesh color, the Goblin King. I love that for sure. And um, yeah, the rest of the color, I'm wondering if she's gonna take a skewer to this. I'm assuming probably, which will be fascinating to see how to get a cool like smoky eyeshadow looking bar or eye, an awesome eyeliner looking bar of soap. And I'm thinking hanger is probably going to be the way to do it. Okay, smart, smart. Putting a layer down between the two. That definitely adds some cool depth between your two colors. So that's always a great pro tip. Put a, a layer of your base color between your colored layers when you're doing like swirls and whatnot. It really does make the swirls pop and be even more beautiful than they were before. So yes. And yeah, Labyrinth. This is, this is exciting. I I'm in love with this idea. As far as the impression mat itself goes, also the amount of time that was, you know, put into making the mat probably doubled the amount of time that I spent rolling a piece of knitted scarf into clay because she actually like carved this all out of clay. And that was actually what got her to the point where she was like, oh, well, I have all this extra clay. What else can I make? And she started making the little worm that was in the labyrinth. And then she's actually she's actually spiraling in really weird ways right now with, uh, with labyrinth. And that comes and goes for her. She'll get really obsessive over labyrinth and do a whole bunch of artistic stuff. Like one day she just painted the, uh, the chili down with fire gang guys, you know, the don't lose your head guys. On her shoes she just just for funsies just painted them on the top of her shoes oh nice hanger swirling all right cool I love that and then she's going to reserve the rest of it to cover all of that up which is very very smart because you don't want the if you're going to if you're going for the swirls like in the middle of the bar this is exactly what you should do swirl it up and then cover all of that with the rest of the remaining base color otherwise that's going to pull through all of the bar and you're gonna have the swirls going all the way to the top so cool yes awesome but yeah, no, she goes through crazy, uh, crazy phases with Labyrinth. She painted her shoes once. She did, I want to she did a Ludo. What did she do for Ludo? She's going to have to tell us in the comments what she's done for Ludo. She goes like, it, it comes and goes in waves, um, for her and her Labyrinth obsession. And, but her and Bowie, they have like a relationship whenever I'm, not at the shop and I haven't already like chosen the, mu the music for the day and then I randomly have to go back to the shop because I forgot something 
um, or I have to show up that day because I need something, Bowie is always playing. And so it's so wild to me that, yes, he, he endures. He, he endures everything because Bowie was well before my generation and therefore well, well before hers. So it's all, it's all crazy, but Labyrinth endures forever as well. Even though I showed my kids when Georgia was showing me the pictures of this chili down with fire gang, like things she's crocheting. Um, and they didn't know what it was. And so I showed them, just pulled up a YouTube video of that scene in the movie where they're doing the dance and they're on the fire and it's like the snake eyes with the eyeballs or whatever. And my kids who play Five Nights at Freddy's were freaked out by the fire gang. And I'm like, okay, I mean, I guess that's really fair because the fire game is terrifying. Labyrinth was actually a terrifying movie, but we love it, don't we? It's it's amazing, but they they did not like that. So I'm going kill it number two is like, okay, I'm gonna walk away now because I don't I don't feel comfortable. And so she did, she did the thing. And again, wildly crazy to me because they play FNAF and FNAF scares the shit out of me. FNAF is Five Nights at Freddy's, by the way. They had to teach me that because they kept saying FNAF and I'm like, what the hell is FNAF? And they just look at me and they're like, mom, Five Nights at Freddy's, ugh. So there's that. Now I have cool lingo. And this bar is not cool lingo, but it's a super cool bar. I'm looking forward to this. She will put this in the oven for C-pop. She did wait a little while before putting the silicone mat on top because she didn't want it to fall into the soap because that would suck and be hard to cut and have pieces of silicone inside saponified soap. And that would not be fun, but this is ready for the oven for C-pop and gel and all of the things. And we will cut into this tomorrow and see what we are working with on the inside and check out her cool David Bowie eyeliner. Okay, and on to the cut. It looks very shiny and smooth. It is a beautiful batch of soap. She used my Swirls blend for this that I am just so in love with right now. It's a really good blend. I'm loving the new Swirls blend for sure. And peeling it back. Oh, it's so cute. That looks amazing. I love that. And I also see why she decided to go with it just on the top of a loaf instead of a slab. Because while it would have looked cool on the slab, she wouldn't have been able to do the eyeliner inside the loaf, A. And two, that would have been a crap ton of work to get a lands an impression mat um, in full slab form. So smart thinking, good on you. Love all the things, for sure. And yeah, just a this is, this is Georgia and how much she loves her bars. So excited to cut them that she just stops and looks at it, makes sure it's perfectly lined up. And then it's always, where do I pull from? Which should be the first one that I pull? And she never, she never knows. And she always ends up going to the middle. It's adorable. And that is a beautiful bar of soap. Wow. Those, those swirls are stunning. That's, Wow, that is so beautiful. That looks amazing. I love that so much that I had to come and like actually get in the shop and look at it because like it's cute. That's that's amazing. Good hanger swirls, very delicate with the with the uh, the swirling, very much you know bold eyeliner with a smoky eye look around it. That's so nice. That's so beautiful. And the top is super cool. Like yeah, they all have little pieces of the labyrinth on them. And so I'm interested to see what she names them. That will be a fun conversation as well. I mean, she might just name him King Jareth, right? That could be the thing. But I don't know. We'll find out. I, well, I do know that I love these bars. They are really, really beautiful. And so bring it back. I want to see it. Show it to us. She just, she doesn't care right now. She's like completely forgotten that she's even filming at this point. She's like, no, I want to look at it. And that's, oh my God. Yeah, that's lovely. That is so beautiful. Those are really, those are great swirls. That's, that's delightful. And you know, just the little having the impression mat on the top. It's a, it's not an in your face, like over the top impression mat, which is also awesome. And I think very, very cool. And another way to do impression mat soaps and have them be, you know, cool. You're just using them to add a little extra piece of something awesome and not be it, it be the whole focus of the pour itself, which is 
Good. I love that. I'm definitely here for that. That is day 313, Georgia May's impression mat for the soap challenge, and it is stunning. Those soaps are absolutely stunning. The interior swirl with the hanger, with just that black and that gray, and wow, it's just a beautiful bar of soap, 100%. And then the tops just give a little nod to, uh, you know, the maze in Labyrinth and doing the thing and bringing everything together for sure. So yeah, that's another really fun way to use impression mats. It doesn't have to be the main focus of your soap. It doesn't have to be a slab that has, you know, the texture throughout the entire... You don't have to do that. You can just use an impression mat on the top and they create really beautiful bars of soap anyway. So that's great. Yeah, if you're interested in this soap, the Labyrinth soap, or mine from yesterday, the cardigan, you can totally find them on the website at soapandclay.com today. Limited edition, once they're gone, they're gone. If you're interested in seeing what other soap challenges we come up with and what else we tackle, you should subscribe to the channel because that would be awesome. If you're interested in seeing any other things from us once we finish this Amy Warden soap challenge thing, drop a comment. Yeah, I'd like to play with your ideas too. We definitely have a lot of themes in mind for sure uh, moving forward, but you know, Labyrinth, that's definitely on the list. So yes. Um, yeah, I really do appreciate everybody who has uh, joined me for another round of 365 days of soap. Special shout out to all of my Sudzers, everyone who has subscribed. You guys are amazing. I love you each and every day. And that is a fact. I am out of here for today. I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Soapy Thun. Bye. I said thun. I meant fun. <laughs>